Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you another example of solving logarithmic inequalities. So this type of logarithmic inequalities is the one with a logarithm on one side and a number on the other side. So this is different to the typical logarithmic inequalities when we have like something, something like log base 2 of x plus 3 is less than or equal to log of base 2 and say you have 2x minus 4 the difference of this example to this one is that we have a log on one side and a log on the other side and there are two cases in which we can have a log on one side and log on the other side. And that one case is when the base is bigger than when the base is bigger than one, or when the base is between one and zero. And if you have seen my videos on how to solve logarithmic inequalities, the rule is simply when the base is bigger than one. So in this case, in our example, the base is bigger than 1. Then it should follow then the expression x plus 3 together with the 2x minus 4 will follow the inequality less than or equal. The opposite will happen when you have log base 2 of x, uh, say 1 half, 1 half of x plus 3 less than or equal to the log of base 1 half 2x minus 4. When the base is less than 1 and bigger than 0, so this is the second case, then when we relate x plus 3 and 2x minus 4, the inequality sign will be reversed. Okay, so x plus 3 must be greater than or equal to 2x minus 4. So that's how you, and then after that, you will just need to solve the newfound inequalities until you get the desired values for x but at the same time these are logarithmic inequalities so there are some restrictions restrictions that you have to note that these expressions must be positive together with the 2x minus 4 to be positive and these ideas uh, were explained in my other videos on linear uh, on logarithmic inequalities so for today we'll focus on a different type and that is on logarithmic inequalities when we have a log on one side and a number on the other side and eventually you will see that the approach that we will be using is based on the standard way of solving logarithmic inequalities okay so let's proceed so let's copy this problem let's recreate a new one <clears throat> Okay, so if we want to solve the logarithmic inequality log base 2 of x minus 2 less than or equal to 4, what we will do is that we just need to create a log on the 4. And once we have a log on the 4, we can go back to the usual way of solving logarithmic inequalities. And you might say that it's like a magic when we transform this into... Okay, so some things that you need to know first. Log base 2 of 2 is equal to 1. Just like any log with acceptable base b of b, the value of this is always equal to 1. So, it's, as you can see, 4 is 4. When you multiply by 1, it's still equal to 4. So that means, since log base b of b is 1 and in particular log base 2 of 2 is also equal to 1 then we can have 4 times 1 in the form of log base 2 of 2 see so we are basically multiplying both sides by 1 but the 1 takes the form of log base 2 of 2 and then make use of the power law so you need to know some laws on logarithms. So this becomes log base 2 of 2 raised to 4. 
and this is based on the power law now we have created a log on one side and log on the other side so that means we can just perform the usual approach in solving logarithmic inequalities and that means the expression that we have on the left x minus 2 relating that to 2 raised to 4 and since the base is a positive number greater than 1 then the inequality should be preserved so the log inequality is transformed into x minus 2 less than or equal to 2 raised to 4 so x minus 2 means 2 raised to 4 is 16 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and just solve this simple inequality so you have less than less than or equal to 16 it's an x 16 plus 2 and x is less than or equal to 18 okay so again we are solving a logarithmic inequality so that means we have to consider all the expressions or the all the restrictions on our expressions like for x minus 2 x minus 2 should be greater than zero okay on the other side it's just four so there is no there's nothing that we have to consider so it's just four so aside from x less than or equal to 18 that we obtain from our solution we have to consider the restriction of x minus 2 greater than zero and this simply means x must be bigger than 2 so combining the results of the solution and the restriction so we have to create a number line replace the numbers 18 and 2 because these are the critical numbers in our answer x less than or equal to 18 means less than or equal to 18 so shaded less than is going to the left less than 18 means all the numbers before 18 and then x greater than 2, that means from 2, not shaded, because it is greater than, so no equal sign, greater than means the numbers to the right of 2. And the final answer is where the intersection, or the intersection rather, the intersection of these two solutions. So combining these two, we should see that we have starting from 2 up to 18 in short x is between 18 and 2 but including 18 because we have a shaded circle on the 18 so it must it must be equal to uh, 18 as well okay so just to add for this video one possible or one common mistake when working with logarithmic inequalities is when you treat them as if they are logarithmic equations now remember when we solve log logarithmic equation equations like log of base 2 x minus 2 equals 4 the solution will be to have 2 raised to 4 so we change it into exponential form so 2 raised to 4 is x minus 2 and then we proceed in solving for the x now do not do this okay do not do this for logarithmic inequalities so when we have log base 2 of x minus 2 less than or equal to 4 do not change it to exponential as you might be carrying the sign less than or equal which is not correct so see if we will do that here so this becomes log so from log base 2 of x minus 2 less than or equal to 4 if you attempt to change it into exponential then it becomes 2 to the 4 is less than or equal to x minus 2 and when you look at what we have set up earlier 
comparing that to what we have here it's totally the opposite of the sign here it's opening so you see the inequality is opening to the 2 to the 4 while for the for this approach where we change it to exponential the opening is on the x minus 2 okay so again never convert to exponential form when you're working with logarithmic inequalities as you might be carrying the wrong sign so what I can suggest again is to express the logarithmic inequality in such a way that you have one log on one side and also a log on the other side and proceed using the usual approach okay so that's all for this video I hope you are able to understand how to solve logarithmic inequalities when you have one log on one side and a number on the other side that's it